Oops. Hey guys, so it's been a while since I've got in front of the camera like this and the last one was a few weeks ago and I've just been too busy, tired, lazy to make a video since then apart from Roman Ruins on the weekend which requires more effort because you've got to walk up hills and through muddy fields and stuff like that rather than standing in a warm dry bedroom in front of a camera. Makes perfect sense. Anyway, okay, so a few weeks ago then, I went to the Comic Con with my cousins uh, and I uploaded my pickups video and some footage from the event and in that video I said I had purchased a sword and it hadn't arrived at the time, it did arrive I think the weekend after and I think it's finally time to reveal what that is so, it's quite heavy as well it's none other than the Sword of Omens from Thundercats uh, yeah, quite a weight to this. Um, there you go. It's a view for you about there. So as you can see in the hilt then, you've got all these different like gemstones, red and blue. They look really nice in fairness. Um, proper, good design on this. I love, look at, I love it. Just look at the, the handle here, whatever you call it. Design on that. Quartz Thundercats logo. And then this is the end of the sword. Oh, there's a gem at the bottom. That's awesome. Nice little pattern going on. And yeah, so when the guy gave me this sword, <laughs> it was hanging up and I said, oh, um, I nearly bought it at uh, the previous Comic Con we went to in Telford. And there was one going for like £45. I thought, oh, that's, really, you know, that's a good deal. It's going cheap. I'll have that one. Um, and the guy in front of me in the queue bought it. I was like, no. However, I think this one's even better, and that's why it cost a bit more money. Um, so yeah, I asked the guy, oh, please can I see that one? And because I had something in my left hand, he put it into my right hand. I was like, ooh, ooh, because <laughs> I'm left-handed. It was quite hard to hold that. I was like, my gosh, that's, thing. that's, a, that's a, definitely a weight to it. And then, I don't know, when I had it in, when I was holding it in my hand, I was looking at it, I was like, oh. And I was looking at the price, and I was like, uh, as I look at the sword, it's like, oh, that's really cool. Uh, then it was my cousin, Gareth. Uh, my <laughs> my dad blames. We all blame him. It's his fault uh, that I got the sword. He used my own phrase on me. You only, you only live once. That's very true. Uh, so I give it back to the guy. I said, okay, thanks for that. I walked away and I kept thinking about it. And kept thinking about it. And I was like, if I don't buy it, I'm going to regret it. So I went back. I bought it. Um... They don't give you the swords anymore at the convention um, because you used to box it before and you, it's illegal to take these outside of the house. Um, I guess in case you chop someone's head off, something like that. Um, so he had my details and I give him my email address and I was a bit concerned because I didn't have, when I paid, I wasn't given like an electronic receipt. And um, my cousin was talking then for the next couple of days saying, I was like, I still haven't had it. He said, oh, I'm sure you'll have it by the end of, like, tonight. And I was like, still haven't had it. Still haven't had it. So then it came, like, the Thursday after, and I sent an email saying, oh, do you know, I'm a bit concerned because I've bought this, but I haven't had anything. And he said, oh, no, we only give an email when we send the sword out. Um, so, and then, actually, it was over the very next day or later that day that the email came through. I was like, woohoo. Right, so this is the end of it. It is blunt. So, it's not much risk there of me scurrying you if you ever come see me. Not that I'd want to, of course. Um, it does come as well with um, this plastic bit, or a kind of rubbery bit to go on the end to save that. And it has got a stand, which I've left all the way in the corner, so one second. And here it is. So, a nice Thundercats logo. I think it goes, to be honest, you could fit it that way. The thing is supposed to go like that. You put these on the end as such, and that should hold. Like they're not going to hold. It. They're not going to step in my very wobbly hand here. So you'd have one either side, and then the sword would slot into there, and you could have it displayed somewhere. Um, 
not quite sure where I would display it. Man, you need a long, it's just quite tall. If I just poke it at the ceiling, that's as far as I can go. Just wondering why there's a couple of different holes on my ceiling. Anyway, yeah, so how awesome is this, right? So, love it. Definitely one of my favorite swords so far. So, in total now, I have got um, the Master Sword. I think that was my first sword, or was it? No, the Gunblade from... Let's start again. The Gunblade, Squall's Weapon from Final Fantasy VIII. Master Sword, Legend of Zelda. Um, Keyblade from Kingdom Hearts. And now, number four, the Sword of Omens from Thundercats. Uh, as displayed here. Anyway, we can uh, see how. Mm, let's see how much design they've got, is it? Okay, so. Yeah, I think that's what's pretty good. Okay. Anyway. And there was something um, the owner of his sword told me when he was uh, selling it to me. He said, apparently, legend has it that one of these swords is actually real and it's proper magic. And uh, yeah. You get to see like visions of the future or what's happening at the moment, and like how ridiculous is that, though, guys? Right? What would the you know odds be of this sword being the actual real sword that would allow you to do that? I mean, absolute <laughs> rubbish, right? Right? Okay, then let's try this. Sword of Omens, give me sight beyond sight. <laughs> Holy shit!